next few days, you're going to be the human component in the Turing test. One day the AIs are going to look back on us the same way we look at fossils. Hello. Automation is inevitable. Robots are being developed in a variety of sizes and shapes. Many of them even resemble humans and are termed as humanoids. Furthermore, the features and development of female humanoid robots like Amica and Sophia, as well as the popularity of female virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, and Cortana, are evidence of the advancements in the field of artificial intelligence. So, it comes as no surprise that USA has released a number of fully functioning female robots. Watch the video till the end as we will tell you all the details about it. But before we do, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing content we have in store for you. Robots are currently being used everywhere, such as research and space exploration, personal help and caregiving, education and entertainment, search and rescue, manufacturing and maintenance, public relations, and healthcare. However, this wasn't always the case. The first completely mobile and aware robot was created by SRI International in Silicon Valley in the 1960s. It was named as Shaky because it was awkward, slow, and twitchy. Shaky could explore a complex area with the help of a camera and bump sensors. Although it didn't appear to be a particularly confident machine, it was the start of the robotic revolution. Then came Unimate, which fused auto body work. These machines were mostly restricted to industries and laboratories, where they rolled around or were fixed in place, lifting goods. Then, Honda launched a humanoid robotics program in the mid-1980s. It created P3, a robot that could walk, wave, and shake hands, much to the pleasure of a room full of suits. Fast forward to today, advanced robots can be found almost anywhere. This is a result of three technological advancements in particular, sensors, actuators, and artificial intelligence. The 2004 DARPA Grand Challenge, in which teams of roboticists cobbled together self-driving automobiles to race through the desert, is largely responsible for machines that roll on sidewalks to deliver food. But how is that possible? The answer to that is LiDAR which uses lasers to create a three-dimensional map of the Earth. The use of sensors prevents robots from colliding with objects and are the reasons why a robot mule can keep an eye on you, follow you about, and carry your belongings. For instance, with the help of machine vision, robots are able to scan fruit trees to decide the optimum place to shake them. Furthermore, actuators are fantastic for powering enormous robot arms on a car assembly line. But a relatively new subject known as soft robotics is dedicated to developing actuators that function on a completely different level. Soft robots, unlike mule robots, are often squishy and move with the help of air or oil. One of the best examples of the usage of sensors, actuators, and AI is Atlas Humanoid Robot, designed by Boston Dynamics for the DARPA Robotics Challenge in 2013. University robotics research teams initially struggled to enable the machine to do fundamental tasks like turning valves and opening doors, which were part of the original 2013 competition and the finals round in 2015. But since then, Boston Dynamics has transformed Atlas into a marvel capable of backflips, greatly outperforming other bipeds that still struggle to walk. Moreover, Boston Dynamics has also developed the robot Spot, which is a quadruped robot that can recover in a disturbing manner when humans kick or tug on it. Atlas and Spot are becoming more physically strong while also becoming smarter thanks to AI. Robotics appear to be at a tipping point, where computing power and artificial intelligence are merging to make machines really smart. And much like humans, machines' senses and intelligence are inextricably linked. Replicating the sense of touch is an interesting robotics frontier. For instance, SynTouch has created robotic fingertips that can detect a variety of sensations, including temperature and coarseness. Another Columbia University robot fingertip simulates touch with light, 
so it can see touch. It's covered in a silicone skin and has 32 photodiodes and 30 LEDs. When the skin deforms, the photodiodes detect how the light from the LED changes, allowing you to identify exactly where and how hard you touched the fingertip. Delivery Robot Ford was named as the first customer to use Agility Robotics Digit in a production setting back in January. The headless humanoid has agile limbs and sensors galore. It is capable of navigating stairwells, various obstacles, and varied terrains. It can walk on one foot, but it prefers to walk upright and is strong enough to pick up and stack 40-pound crates. It can also be folded for easy storage. Ford envisions Digit riding in a self-driving car delivering products to clients, completely automating the delivery process. For the time being, the business will be observing how humans react to this android. Now coming to different types of robots. Digital Humanoids Digital humans have the appearance and behavior of humans but are entirely virtual. Samsung Technology and Advanced Research Labs NEONS AI-powered machines with distinct personalities and appearances are just an example of it. These artificial humans aren't meant to answer inquiries like Alexa or Siri, but rather to display emotions by learning from their experiences and engage in genuine conversations. Each neon is computer-generated and can be tailored for a specific job, such as a virtual doctor or a yoga instructor. Robotic Bartender Then we have Kime a food and beverage serving robot developed by Mako Robotics. It has two limbs and a human-like head and body inside a kiosk. Kaim has been tested in Europe patrol stations and a Spanish brewery and is considered to be quite good at pouring beer, capable of serving up to 300 glasses each hour. The humanoid has 14 to 20 degrees of freedom, is equipped with sophisticated sensors, and use machine learning to improve its abilities. Educational Robot Created by SoftBank Robotics, Pepper is a cheerful emotion-reading assistant who may work as a receptionist, in retail, or even as a nanny. Pepper includes Tethys, an educational integrated development environment designed to teach students how to code. Students can program the humanoid to walk, talk, gesticulate, and display various messages on its screen in real time using the software. This program is built to inspire a new generation of engineers and roboticists. Collaborative Humanoids The majority of humanoids are inherently human collaborators. For instance, Kawada Robotics Next Stage is a humanoid research platform for industrial cobots. One example of this is Armar, which was created by the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany to help humans conduct maintenance chores in industrial environments. Furthermore, Ubitech Robotics Walker was built to work alongside humans in their homes. The humanoid robot was created with seven degrees of freedom manipulators to conduct household activities and smart home control. And this is not it, as Japan has created a unique new social robot that is also a fully functional wife. This robot can cook, clean, say beautiful things, and do housework. The owner has complete control over the robot. With time, the robot picks up on the owner's personality and develops features to always please him or her. Even though our society is becoming filled with increasingly complex machines, robots must become more self-sufficient to be truly useful. After all, it'll be hard to program a home robot with gripping instructions for every object it might come across. You want it to learn on its own, which is where artificial intelligence technology comes in. And with all the recent advancements, the time is not far when we will have a completely self-sufficient robot. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoy the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on our amazing and informative videos in the future.